Hi everyone, welcome to our WordPress series. Today I'll be showing you how to create static pages using WordPress shortcodes. Let's get started. Shortcodes are WordPress specific codes that enables you to do things with very little effort, such as embedding media files and also creating columns and much more. Let's begin by logging in through your WordPress account. Type in your username and your password. And I'm going to go to the plugins link and add new. So the plugin that I'm going to use today is called Shortcodes Ultimate. It's one of the easier ones to use. So I'm gonna type that in. And I'm gonna select install now. Activate the plugin. Now it's been activated, I'm going to add a page. I'm going to add a contact. And I have a little context already that I'm going to use. to take you to the Dot Easy Cafeteria website. So as you can see, they have the GMAP and also the hours of operation side by side. So it's two columns. I'm going to go back to our page and I'm going to select the short codes button and I'm going to search for a column. So the column width, this one over here determines how many columns you want. So I only want two. And last column here has two options, zero or one. So zero means no and one is yes. So this is not our last one. So I'm gonna select zero. And column style, over here there are three different ones. You can take a look and figure out which one suits your needs better. And I'm going to leave the content here blank for now since I'll be using the shortcode plugin again to insert the GMAP. And I'm gonna click on insert. Now I'm going to highlight this and click on the um, short code button again and I'm going to type in GMAP. So I need to change the size of the picture so it fits side by side with my hours of operation. And type in the address. from the site, copy it, and find columns again. So this is our last column, so I'm going to choose one, and I'm going to insert the content here, and insert. I'm going to set the featured image. Your image so it'll be displayed as a header. Save all changes, close, and as I mentioned in the previous video this particular um, theme has templates pre-built already so I'm going to choose the contact page so it will generate web forms for us and I'm going to select publish now. Let's go to our website, hit refresh, right over here, we can click on it. So it looks like this. And you can see that the hours of operations are kind of running into each other. So I'm going to go back to our page and I'm just going to separate them by hitting the enter button. And choose update. So now when we go back to our page, 
it would look like this. Alrighty. And going back to our dashboard, I'm going to add another page. I'm going to add our appetizer. And I'm going to go to the dot easy cafeteria and take a look at what it looks like. So there are three columns. I'm going to go back to our dashboard. Choose the short code button. So the column width, I'm going to change it to 1-3. It's not our last column. And I'm going to leave the content because I'll be inserting a picture. So I'll highlight this part. And select the media button beside the short codes. I'm going to choose my picture. to insert this to my post. Okay, so hit enter. And then next column would be a little short description of what this is. Select the short code button. So not our last. And I'm going to insert here. Turn again, and our last column, so yes, and this is just going to be the price, let's do 12, and insert. And I'm going to set the feature image, I'm going to go back to my pictures, and over here, select use as feature image and save all changes and now I'm going to select publish let's take a look so our appetizers link is here and there it is so I'm just going to add one more so I'm going to go to the short code button again to show you how to create a drinks page as well. So I'm going to add new again. I'm going to show you the Dot Easy Cafeteria one. So as you can see, I'm going to highlight this. So there are five columns. So let's try that. Okay, so choose the short code. And we are going to do five. And this is our white wine section.
choose my image again. featured and save all changes and there it is I'm going to go back it looks kind of empty so I'm going to add This is it for this tutorial. It is a little bit time consuming, but it's very simple to use. So thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook.